All right, everyone, let's uh, discuss a little about the ALF280K version 3. So as you are uh, may or may not be aware of, uh, the version 3 has been released by EVE, and we've been selling it in uh, various different terminals. Uh, so the ones that we have been selling with our own terminals, we call it the SFK high amp adapter. And as you can see on the sides, there's an octagon base uh, that the terminals are welded upon. And uh, this is sort of how the EVE V3s, the ones that we're getting without their terminals, uh, come with. But this, on the other hand, is their official dual pole version 3. And if you notice where the plus or minus is, it's a round shape. They don't actually use the octagon terminals. So we have been selling both the uh, ones with our adapter uh, with the octagon base as well as the ones that EVE supplies themselves. And the ones that EVE supplies them uh, themselves is using the round base. So as you can see, both are available to us and they both have you know, a fairly good reputation at this point. But there's some things that you guys wanna, gonna wanna be aware of and we're gonna basically be going over that in this sort of video to kind of show you what our, some, of, some of our findings are. All right, so let's first go over you know, briefly on, uh, you know, sort of one of the test reports we received when we did our first small sample order of the uh, 280K version 3. And if you've been following us on Twitter, we had let, uh, we had posted, hey, we're, we're trying this 280K version 3. Uh, you know, back then we were really big fans of the REPT 280. It was, it was doing really well. Uh, but, you know, Eve said, hey, you know, we got a nice sell. I think you're going to want to try it out. So we said, go ahead. Let's, let's bring it on. And we wanted to make tools. We want to use tools everyone's familiar with. So uh, we use the, um, you know, ZKE40 tester, which seems to be quite common. And, you know, ran our test the standard way. Uh, 30 amp discharge, um, you know, uh, charge it up to 3.65, dropped it down to 2.5 volts, and basically sort of see what we have. So looking at the chart, it did extremely well. Um, the cell label said 313 amp hours. We got 311. Uh, but when we normalize it to 3.2 volts nominal, it was dead on. Uh, the watt hours matched exactly that was on the label. So uh, very impressive. And that was what we had said in our, you know, this is the new 280 amp hour king. And the results proved it. So, so far, so good. We like it. All right. So now that we've gotten results for the 280K and V3 and published the results, we had customers reach out to us and say, these are great. We want you to carry the official EVE dual pole terminal cells. We say, sure, not a problem. We'll get them. And we got them. And then we looked at the test results and we noticed that, you know, these are about 10, 11 amp hours less than our first version. And also, the cell that we got in did not have the octagon terminals on them. If we compare to our original sample, uh, you'll see, on average, they're about 10 to 11 amp hours higher. And um, that's a little alarming. So, you know, we said, you know, hey, maybe we just got lucky with our first sample or Eve was trying to give us the really best ones to get us an order. Probably going forward, even our terminals will be in the 300 range. Well, no. Because as we started ordering more of the EVE 280K version 3s with the Octagon terminals, we noticed consistently they were anywhere from 10 to 14 amp hours higher than the ones that EVE is selling with their official dual pole terminals. And they haven't really quite explained to us why that is the case. But we kept pressing them, and it was more of, well, you know, our dual pole terminal really only fits the original case with the round terminals. This adapter hasn't quite been updated to fit the new hexagon style terminals. And even though they are saying that both the ones that they're selling now with the dual pole terminals and the octagon are both version 3 chemistry, there are physical differences that would lead us to believe that's not necessarily the case. For one, the physical look of the case, the octagon terminal version, they got rid of the hole in the center for the uh, vent, and the base itself is drastically different. 
The dual pull, on the other hand, looks exactly like the version 1, version 2 case. Um, but now we've tested the dual pull, and it does test well, not as well as the octagon terminal, and you're probably going to get somewhere in the 290s with it. You're not going to get the 300 plus that we're getting with the, three, with the octagon, but Eve insists they're both the same. So maybe eventually they'll update their terminal and it will work with the uh, octagon style base. But for now, just be aware there is a difference between the version 3 Tweety Ks. You've got one that Eve sells officially with their dual pull terminal, which still sort of uses this case structure of the version 1, version 2. And they have also have this other uh, 280K version 3 that they sell with the octagon base. That does not come with a terminal, so you have to solder on your own uh, or laser on your own terminal. And that's sort of what we are doing with our high amp terminal. Now, I believe they're both fine, and you got to remember, this is a much bigger improvement from the original, uh, version 1, version 2, 280Ks. Uh, in case you need a refresher, uh, this is sort of a test result of the original version 1, 280K. So you can see we've gone from quite a bit, testing from somewhere in the 285s, all the way up to 300. That is a 30 amp hour swing almost, so both are still going to pr provide you with far higher amp hours than what they're originally rated for but if you're the one who obsesses over every single amp hour or every single bit of capacity um, you will want to go with the one with the octagon base because they are testing a little higher anyway we have either of them available so just check up on our website to see whichever one you prefer uh, but if you have any other questions reach out to us and thank you once again for choosing sun fun kids